Right, it's time for us to put our skills into practice. What we're gonna do here is to build an application that will ask us a series of questions. And upon completion, when we answer the questions, the application will build a CV that we can use. So this will be a really, really interesting project for us here. So also we're going to incorporate the text to speech capability where the application will talk to us or actually to you and ask you questions. So this will be really cool. So go ahead and make sure that you are comfortable with the basics. If you have any questions, go ahead and let us know on the group. Literally let us know and we will be there to help you. Without further ado, let's go ahead and kick off this CV Builder application. All right, so let's go ahead and build this awesome CV that you can showcase as your portfolio. So for this project, we need to install a package that will let us write documents. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal. So what we're going to do is navigate into view and then in here you have terminal in here or you can also see terminal here and then you can say new terminal. So both ways do work. If I press on that, you can see that now we have this terminal, right? So in here we can type some commands. So here this might be a little bit different than yours, but whatever we're going to type, it should just work if you have installed Python correctly. So let's go ahead and install the package that allows us to work with documents. To do that, we're going to type pip and then three. So pip three is the package manager for Python. And basically we can download existing packages that other developers have written and made available to anyone to use. So in our case, we want to use this library to give us the ability to write documents. And instead of us writing the functionality ourselves, we can just reuse some code that someone else has already written. And there are thousands of these packages that you can explore. So to install a package, say pip three, and then install, and then the name of the package is Python dash and then docs, just like that. And you can see that this now is going off and downloading the package. So now you can see that successfully install Python docs 0.8.10. So this is the actual version. So if this command doesn't work for you for any reason, try and run pip3 install and then just docs, just like that. So there are two versions, but they are, they are both the same package, but only if the first command doesn't work for you. So now we can close this window and let's go ahead and use this library that we've just installed. So to use a library, we're going to learn something new, which we haven't done before, but type from and then docs and then import document. So what we are saying here is from the library that we've just installed, we're going to import this document right here. And the way we use it is as follows. So let's create a variable. So I'm going to say document equals to, and then document. And in here we need to invoke this just like that with set of parentheses. And you've seen this before. So the same that you saw before we had Mariam and then equals to, and then person, and then we passed name, right? So uh, I think it was Mariam and then she was 18. So the exact same thing here, but in here, we're not passing anything inside. So now let me actually remove this. And now we need to create the actual document. So type document dot and then save. And in here we need to pass a string and this will be the name of our CV or document, right? So here this will be CV dot and then docs, just like that. Now let's go ahead and run this. So click on the play button. And there we go. So this has run successfully, but you don't see anything. So let's close this and now open up Explorer 
and check this out. We have our cv.docs. So if you click on it, you can see that we can't really open up this because it's not supported by VS Code, but we could install a plugin. But what I'm gonna do is actually just open it on my file system. So I'm gonna close this. And then in here, what I'm gonna do is just close this first. And then I'm going to resize my window slightly. And then I'm going to open the folder. And what I'm gonna do is just make this a little bit bigger. So just, just like that. And hopefully I can put it just like this. And then let's just try and put it right here. So I don't have to keep on opening this every time. So there we go. Just like this. And basically we have two files here. So we've got the CV as well as our Python file, which is the one that you see here. So now if I open up this CV and check this out, we've got an empty CV. So this is really cool. Hopefully you got this far. Next, let's go ahead and learn how to add text to this document.